Dude, Kanye, what is on your lip? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. There's so much Kanye West news coming in. I don't even know where to start. Shaq just slammed him like crazy. Leonardo DiCaprio snubbed him at the Super Bowl. And now there's this talk that Taylor Swift got him kicked out of the Super Bowl. We're going to break it all down, but I got to start with what the heck is on his lip? What is this? Gross. I mean, I, look, Kanye is a fantastic musician, producer. I, I can't deny the fact that he's made some amazing music, but the dude is so troubled right now, man, and said some awful anti-Semitic stuff. He's tripled down on it. He apologized and he's not apologized. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing anymore, but man, he's still going off. And I want to start with this weird lip thing before we get in all the shade. What is happening? It just, and what's with the weird titanium grills? I, I, I did. Anyway, he's, they've been complaining because he's posting his wife all over uh, Instagram and people are like, yo, stop posting your wife so much. And he was like, no. Yo, I just want to tell everybody I posted my wife three times on purpose. You understand what I'm saying? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. So what I'm saying is, I delivered the album. Then people still in my comments talking about, why are you posting your wife? Because she make me happy. That's why y'all happy with the music, because I'm happy. You understand? So don't ever say nothing negative. If you don't like my page and don't like what I'm posting, go fuck yourself. Seriously. Leave me, leave the king the fuck alone. I don't care, bro. I'm going to post my wife as much as I want. Go post your wife on your fucking Instagram. Okay, first of all, I actually do agree with the sentiment. Like, post your wife, whatever. A lot of us have problems with Kanye because she's always not wearing anything. But I guess if they're happy and she's into it, what can I say? So I can't deny that. If you don't like them, don't watch. But Kanye, yeah, what's up with your lip? <laughs> sorry, I, I mean, sorry, not sorry. That looks like you got to get it checked out. Maybe it's those grills causing some problem. I don't know. But man, that doesn't look good, man. You got to see a doctor. That's that's weird, man. Anyway, uh, so what is going on with Taylor Swift? Uh, apparently, there's now this report coming in that, uh, yeah, she, she blocked him. In fact, this comes in from Brandon Marshall, Football guy, I don't know, spilling some tea. We posted on our Instagram, which, by the way, if you're not following us on Instagram, what are you doing? You're going to miss out on all the tea. We got it up there. Thanks to Claire. Here it is. Uh, here's what, what they happened like. yesterday. Let me tell you what happened. Some more juice, more tea. Ooh. So Kanye West pulls up to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Kanye West pulls up to the Super Bowl. Kanye West buys a ticket right in front of Katy Perry's booth. So he means anytime Taylor Swift. they were He's going to be it. showing Katy Perry, Kanye's face Swift. was going to be there. He had a, a mask on with his logo on a mask, mm -hmm. right? Typical Kanye. So NFL, Taylor, uh, Taylor Swift gets pissed off. Seat Boom Boom makes a call or two. Everybody's involved. He gets kicked out the stadium. Uh oh. Yeah, this is hot. So Kanye, this is Kanye, hot. We didn't hear about he, this. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is hot tea, hot tea, hot tea, oh. hot tea. Now you can watch the whole piece over here on our Instagram. We have the whole clip. He he does later correct himself. They're like, you meet Katy Perry. He's like, sorry, I meant Taylor Swift. He clearly mixed them up. Uh, but he alleges yes that Kanye's plan was to go there and you know hijack all the shots of Taylor, which I don't fully buy. If he had been there first, and then T Taylor would have had to have seen it to kick him out. Plus it's like, she's back there. I don't know. What's he going to do? Jump up and cause a disturbance. I don't know if I buy this tea. Kanye has now since denied it. He said, no, this is false. Uh, he says, no, he, he didn't do it. Uh, but yeah, he is clearly re you know, reigniting this feud versus Taylor. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, he, he has, he has of course denied it saying, no, that's not true. This is complete misinformation. Um, and uh, I'm going to side with him on this one because I don't always agree. But yeah, he denies his claim that Taylor booted him. Kanye is denying Brandon Marshall's claims. A rep for Kanye tells TMZ it's completely fabricated rumor. It is not true. But that's the rumor. He was there with his ski mask. And at least his woman was uh, fully clothed at the time in a trash bag. 
Uh, but he's saying that's not what happened. So there, there's that drama that came in. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think Taylor, I mean, Taylor probably does have the sway to get him booted. Um, what's interesting though, is he was showing up to all these, uh, booths, like showing up to, uh, the, the, these, uh, suites rather. And, uh, he showed up to one from, uh, the chicken raising canes, like chicken restaurant. And, uh, he showed up uninvited. They, they, he wasn't invited to this booth, but it had Leonardo DiCaprio, a lot of other people in there. Leonardo DiCaprio used to be a good friends with Kanye, had him perform at his birthday party back when, you know, Kanye was in. And uh, Leonardo DiCaprio gave him total cold shoulder, according to this report. Uh, he was, it was awkward too. Uh, he was showed up uh, at the chicken chain Raising Cane Super Bowl suite to watch the game alongside many celebrities. He didn't exactly get a warm welcome. Sources tell us Leo, longtime pal, the disgraced rapper turned designer, uh, profile like Nutter was among the starry throng and saw and definitely saw West, but didn't so much as acknowledge his one time bunny. At one point, a source said that pair seemingly exchanged nods and nothing else, but a source later definitively said, no, there was no interaction whatsoever. Uh, so that's what it was. And here's how they showed up to the game anyway, but there was Leo spotted in the booth. Um, West yet yeah, performed at his, uh, birthday party. Uh, anyway, and then West support him when he won the Oscar. Finally, our guy, we're so happy for Leo. Sources say West wasn't invited to the suite, but the booming bird brand and wasn't even a, a guest of a guest. He came in for a few minutes with his wife, Bianca, and uh, he was just like a guy dropping in the suites. Like, can I stick around for a minute? Can I get a free drink? Uh, meanwhile, Raising Cane's suite was packed with A-listers, Toby Maguire, Vince Vaughn, Tyga, Wiz Khalifa, French Montana, the Demolio family, Ashante, Nelly, Diplo, Wayne Gretzky, Tiffany Haddish, various others were there throughout in the Raising Cane uh, booth. Um, but yeah, so no one was paying attention to him. No one wanted there. And they, yeah, he got he got pushed out. He wasn't in there. So it's confusing. Was he even invited to this big game? Uh, it's, it's unclear what's actually going on, why he was there. Uh, but everyone's still worried about the protruding growth, uh, growth from his lip after these dentist implants, I guess. But final little shade, and I wanted to roll this, uh, Shaquille O'Neal uh, slammed him. Slammed him. Stop being uh, itching and snitching. Uh, and NBA legend suggests the rapper was snubbed him at the game. Man up, little boy. So here's the comment in question. Now, there's a little bit of backstory here. <clears throat> uh, previously, uh, Kanye was calling out one of Shaquille's business partners, on Twitter and our sorry, Instagram. And so, uh, Don Charvey, my brother, blah, 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 whatever. He was Jimmy Salter is the guy that Shaq knows. Everyone else wouldn't take my calls, but Don was, he's the one who inspired my apology. Yeah. But yada, yada, yada. Shaq commented at one point. He's now since deleted the comment, but his response to Kanye, who cares? Stop being, you know, itching with the B and snitching. I know you saw me at the Super Bowl. I was waiting for you to say something smart. Man up. Nobody want to see you crying. Man up, little boy. So Shaq's had enough. Uh, as I think a lot of us have. Because he is just always complaining. I mean, he reminds me of Harry. Just constantly. Yeah, it's a lot of whining. And it's a lot of anti-Semitism that he's putting out there. Misinformation, etc. Uh, <laughs> shut up, Kanye. Uh, but yeah, enough already. I, I don't even really like to report on Kanye, but there's been so much out there and I, I am trying to move on to other stories. I wanted to think, what, what are your thoughts? Are, 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 it's weird. There seems to be a lot of people who are still cozying up to him. Uh, his music did extremely well. In fact, last little point here on his stories just now, thrown out some shade to Taylor because yeah, he overtook Taylor as the top artist globally on Spotify for that day. For one day, just a day, Kanye. I think Taylor's got you beat overall by a lot. But on the day, he did beat Taylor, and he made a point of showing it on Twi on uh, Instagram. But it's still pretty telling, given all that Kanye's done. He's proven he's not canceled. He seems to be uncancelable, and he said some pretty d terrible things, in my opinion. <clears throat> he's lost all brands. A lot of these brands have cut ties. Celebrities are snubbing him left to right. But yet he's still selling a lot of damn music, making some money, uh, and he even did a uh, bought out a Super Bowl ad, which I still don't even understand. I mean, clever to not spend a lot of money, but you could have 
taking a little bit more time into it. <laughs> but that was sort of the appeal. Anyway, are, are people coming around to Kanye again? Do you guys like him? I want to know your thoughts. And yet, what the hell is on his lip? <laughs> You'd think you wouldn't want to do an iPhone video right when you got this. I don't know what it is, man. But anyway, Kanye, woo, all right. What do you think of him? Subscribe, hit the button, tell me your thoughts before you do. Hit those buttons and smash the like. Heck, smack the, the, the unlike, I don't care. But leave your comments down below. What are your thoughts on Kanye? All his drama, is it too much? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more celebrity coverage here on Popcorn Planet.